I have three great cases that I usually purchase for my new device, um, but this one is a little bit of an outlier because this is the official Google uh, case for the Pixel 9 or the Pixel 9 Pro. That being said, I have the Rinky case here as well as the Liquid Air from Spigen. So without any further ado, let's get into unboxing and checking out these three cases for your Google Pixel 9 or Pixel 9 Pro. First up is the Rinky Onyx case in black. It comes in um, not so eco-friendly packaging because it is just in this plastic. And then getting into the case itself, you can see that it is really nicely constructed TPU case that offers a little bit of protection around the visor of your Pixel 9. Let's get the Pixel 9 into the case. On the Rinky case, there's a substantial bump out for screen protection as well as enough room for a glass screen protector. So don't worry about those of you out there that have a glass screen protector, this will fit on your device just fine. Towards the bottom, you can see that the speaker grill and microphone as well as the USB-C port are readily accessible. Around the side here is a lanyard loop holder and I think there's another one on the other side as well. Some rinky branding there. Uh, moving up along the side here, you can see the power button and the volume rocker. There's a little bump in the middle so you know that your finger's placed right in the middle. And, uh, flipping it around towards the back side, the visor is really protected as well as the glass around the flash. That is a really nice touch. I've always liked rinky cases because they add that additional coverage and not just an opening. There's a really nice feel to this case. I love the rigid around it this is uh, rinky makes some of the best cases in my opinion and they're really affordable and up towards the top you can see there's another microphone cut out uh, for your pixel 9 and one final thing that I want to test bring in a MagSafe it doesn't add a whole lot of uh, connect connectiveness because the this is an Apple MagSafe adapter and it doesn't adhere to the pixel 9 strongly enough but you can see that it is charging no problem. This is the Rinky Onyx case for the Google Pixel 9 or 9 Pro. If you're interested in pricing and availability, it will be linked in the description. Moving on to the Spigen Liquid Air. Uh, I love their packaging. It is very eco-friendly, uh, easy to open. This is a very standard black TPU case from Spigen. I tend to like this a lot, this design. Uh, this is something that I've put on many past devices that I, I, I'd have nothing to complain about. Bringing the Pixel 9 Pro into the picture, putting it on the Pixel 9. There's a less rigid lip on the front of the device and you can see that it, it, it uh, works well with uh, glass screen protectors as well. Looking on the side of the device, you can see there's just some Spigen branding and nothing else. Towards the bottom, the uh, speaker and the microphone as well as the USB-C port are easily accessible and clear of any uh, obstructions. Uh, flipping it around on this side, you get one lanyard loop. I wish they would do it on both sides, just to, depends on how you know people use their devices and, and use lanyards. It would be nice to have one on this side as well. Uh, there's the power button and the volume rocker, uh, really nicely done. There's some ridges on the power button so you know that you're touching that. Uh, flipping it around towards the back, the difference here is that the bump out on the visor of the Pixel 9 or the 9 Pro is just protected by this uh, portion here. So there is potential that you could scratch or you know damage your uh, camera module here. Uh, the Rinky adds uh, quite a bit more beef there on the camera module. On the top, there's another, there's the cutout for the microphone as well. And just like the Rinky case, let's bring in the MagSafe and see if it charges. Charges no problem. It looks like it's uh, connected just fine. Again, there is not a whole lot of strong adhesion here, but you can see that the, the magnet holds on a little bit better because the Spigen liquid air is uh, a little bit thinner than the Rinky Onyx case. Um, again, if you're interested in pricing and availability of this case, it will be linked in the description. Moving right along is the official Google case. Uh, this is really nicely packaged and very eco-friendly in comparison to the other two because I believe there's nothing else inside of this other than the case itself. And the case is wrapped in this nice uh, paper that is not plastic, so it, again, very eco-friendly. And holy crap, this thing feels great in the hand. Um, I will say that this texture tends to pick up a lot of lint uh, from your pocket because it is more of like a silicone, but it's not as a, you know abrasive as what you would experience on Apple silicone cases. It, your finger just kind of your fingers kind of just glide across it. There's a really nice Google embossed logo there. It's not even embossed. It's actually inset as far as like what's in there. So if I bent this apart quite a bit, I think this plastic would pop out. Um, flipping it around on the inside, uh, there's this nice felt inlay for the Pixel case. 
Uh, this is really, really nicely uh, built. Uh, buttons are separate. Uh, aluminum, little knockouts there. Let's bring the Pixel in, take a look at it while it's in there. Uh, around the front as well, there's a little bit of tiny lip. It is glass screen protector friendly, so you're not gonna have any problems there. And uh, around the side, there's nothing. I, it feels really nice. This silicone uh, material that they have here is really nice, but I can see it picking up quite a bit of lint. Less than the Apple, but still lint. Flipping it around this side, the power and volume rocker. Uh, one thing that you will notice that is missing from this case option is an actual uh, lanyard loop. Uh, flipping it around towards the bottom, speaker, uh, USB-C, and microphone are clearly uh, unobstructed and easily accessible. And flipping it around towards the top, there's the dual array microphone. Uh, flipping it around towards the back in the camera module, it has a nice little gradual increase to the camera um, island here. It is not as abrupt as the other cases, so it's kind of like a smooth little ramp here um, that kind of blends the case into the phone really nicely. Again, uh, it is fully exposed though, so you're gonna wanna be careful there. Uh, it doesn't offer the same type of protection as the Rinky case. This case is uh, about a double the price of the other two cases, um, so that is something you're gonna wanna consider uh, if purchasing. And then bringing this MagSafe into the picture, it, it connects and uh, charge, puts the phone into charging mode, no problem. There is a little bit of magnet resistance there. A little bit more than what you would experience on the Spigen case, but a lot more than what you would get from the Rinky case, because you don't really get a whole lot with this one, because this one is thicker in design. If you're interested in pricing and availability of this case, hit the link in the description. Uh, before I close this video, all the links in the description are my affiliate links, so shopping through those. Uh, I get a little bit of kickback based on your purchases. It's just a nice way for you to support content creation here on this channel. So if you want to and you want to help me out, uh, feel free to shop through that link. I really appreciate it. Drop me a comment down below on which case is your favorite. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe for my Google Pixel 9 Pro review. That should be coming out here shortly. And if you're catching this video later, it will be live. Hit the card here and hop on over there to check it out because this device is absolutely awesome. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.